Hi, it's Glenn Depke here again, and I welcome you to the next step in understanding what's really going on hormonally in your life. Remember a couple of weeks ago, we had talked about the simple fact that what you think of as adrenal fatigue really isn't adrenal fatigue. And then last week, we got into the understanding of how, you know, if it's not adrenal fatigue, what is it really? And now you understand that this is the tie between your brain, your hypothalamus, your pituitary gland, and your adrenals, and how this really impacts the system overall and really leads to this hormonal imbalance you could be living with. And today, though, is the aha moment for you. Today's the day when you see the impact that this has on your body, because this is not just about your adrenals. This is not just about the HPA access. This is about how this impacts your body on a regular daily basis. And I'd be willing to bet that some of what you're going to see here very shortly could be tied into the very symptoms that you're suffering with today. So let's take a quick look right here and what's going on. So when we think of the HPA access holistic impact, which means the impact that this has on your whole body. Now, when you have HPX dysfunction, this is not just about your hormones. It's about what this impacts in your body based on a lack of proper communication of hormones, which is really, they're just communicators in the body. They're there to tell the body what to do. So when you look at this chart here, we'll start on the left and work our way right. So when there's HP axis dysfunction, first off, this can impact your muscular skeletal health. So what this means is it can make it more difficult for your body to enjoy proper bone and connective tissue turnover, as well as muscular integrity. So this might be people who are dealing with, you know, multiple sprains or strains on their body or an inability to recover from that perspective, maybe osteopenia or osteoporosis. And from that muscular integrity, maybe you don't recover from workouts as you did in the past, or maybe it's tougher to build muscle. Outside of that, your neural tissue health, which has a direct impact on your ability to memorize and learn, your overall quality of sleep and regulation of your mood, and overall neural connectivity, which is tied in your brain and your nervous system, which is the master regulator of everything in your body. Right? Also, this can have a sizable impact on your endocrine function overall. This could directly impact your pancreas and the production of either insulin or glucagon and basically regulating blood sugar in your body. This can also directly impact your thyroid function, as well as for women in childbearing years, also their ovary, ovarian hormone function as well. Outside of that, this can also be impacting your metabolism of fat and protein. Your overall protein turnover, which is essential because your protein conversion into amino acids is, is an essential part of the building blocks of life for yourself. This is also a key factor in the production of neurotransmitters. So these little neurons in your brain and your body can communicate with each other. Uh, on top of that, you know, your metabolism of fat is essential, not only for brain function, but recognize that when you break down fat, you enjoy about six or seven times more energy than breaking down carbohydrates. So it's a better source and a cleaner source of energy in your body. And on top of this, in this area, this can also affect weight and fat distribution. This is whether you need to lose or gain weight. And then also the ever important mucosal surface integrity, which is the interior lining of your nose, your mouth, your esophagus, your stomach, and for women, the vagina, it's anywhere where your body is easily exposed to the outside environment. So this is kind of like that, that first layer of defense of your immune system or the Marines of the immune system. So obviously that's very important. And this also impacts every level of detoxification in your body. And the simple fact is, is we live in a toxic environment and a toxic world, and we need this, these systems working at their optimal, not depleted because they're depending on this, this hormonal response that they're not getting. Uh, also, it's tied into your pro and anti-inflammatory state. You want to have the ability to create inflammation as a part of a positive healing crisis. And you also need the ability to create the cortisone, which is a hormone that's needed as your natural anti-inflammatory. So that's dependent on this HPA access, as well as your immune regulation. And this is not just whether or not you get sick or get a cold or not. Your immune system is also vitally important for your body to maintain and repair itself on a regular daily basis, which is really key for overcoming any challenge. And in last and not least, it's tied into your overall metabolism. 
your glucose homeostasis, which is just basically your blood sugar balance, which is essential for your brain function, and also cellular energetics to produce energy in your body. And really nowadays, who doesn't want more energy? And I'm sure you would enjoy that yourself. So now today you have this understanding that it's not just a hormone issue. It's not just a hypothalamus pituitary and an adrenal issue. It's a whole body issue. So what we're going to get into next week, then we're going to really address the underlying triggers for what causes this dysfunction. And we'll talk a little bit deeper about how to really test further and understand exactly where you're at from a hormone perspective. So have a great week. Take care, everybody.